Ariel Hawani in Chicago getting set for UFC 238 alongside Joanne Calderwood, who meets Caitlin Chukagian this Saturday on the ESPN Plus prelims. And I have to start there, Joanne. You know, there's a lot of UFC events, so each and every Monday I look at the lineup. And to my surprise, I'm sitting there looking at the lineup, and what's the first fight of the night? Joanne Calderwood, potential number one contender in the flyweight division, starting the show, jerking the curtain. What's going on here? Yeah. Stamped my yeah. feet. No. What happened? Where's the respect? I was shocked, but I can look at it negatively, and I, I would prefer to look at it in a positive way. You know, I can go in there, make a statement, get out, spend the rest of the time with my mom. And yeah, it sucks because I've never, even in my Muay Thai career, I was never first. So yeah, it was a shock and surprise to me but also I'm not putting the blame on anyone but my opponent is not really the funniest to watch so yeah let's just blame her. <laughs> I, I was I was actually gonna ask you that if you feel like it's more of an indictment on her than you because some of her fights haven't been the most fan friendly so that's what you believe deep down inside? Yeah. You're not taking it personally? No okay. for sure. Like Did you I, ask the UFC? Uh, no. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I believe that it's more so her. Like, I'm a fan favorite, and I always go in there and give it my all and try for as much violence as possible. So, and anyone can see if you watch, I've studied her tape, and I, even I was like, oh, man, how am I going to get this girl to fight? So, it's going to be a good challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. So, are you dreading the fight? No, I would never dread any fight. It's just not the kind of funniest fight that I look forward to. So when you were offered this opponent, Caitlin Chukagian, were you kind of like, eh, I'd rather fight someone else? She's coming off a loss, you're on a winning streak. Yeah, I'm like, oh, she's noisy and she doesn't engage and she's a counterfighter. Uh, all those things and then I'm like, no, I'm grateful to be fighting again and it's another challenge that I've probably never faced before. Yeah, how do you feel about the noises that she makes? Some compare it to like a, a female tennis player, right? Like when they serve, but we don't hear. Holly Holm does it a little bit, but it's not. It's not a common thing. What do you think of it? Is it annoying? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you think you'll get annoyed in the fight, or will you be so in the zone that you won't even notice it? I I would hope I would be in the zone and not kind of be aware of those kind of things. So I've had some sparring partners and. Uh, my coach <laughs> trying to do it while we're training and stuff but yeah I think it will be a little bit different on fight night because I'm so focused and I'm so in the zone so yeah I don't think it's going to be a problem. Do you feel like if you win this fight you'll be next for the title? For sure. Have you been told that? Uh, no. You're the worst liar in the world. <laughs> I know I'm so bad. <laughs> I've been told that by many of people. Okay that's good. Yeah. That's exciting. That's a big. That's a big deal. Yes, it's yeah. ex very exciting. Obviously, I'm not looking past Caitlin, but uh, that I just feel like this is my journey, and I'm on a on a good good path right now, and I'm going to keep going with it. Are you hoping Valentina wins on Saturday so you can be the one to dethrone her? Or are you hoping that Jessica I wins? For sure, Valentina. She's got the best reputation in the UFC out of the flyweight girls right now, so. I would rather fight someone that the fans know and respect than someone that they, they just see as like decision or not that great of a... Jessica's a badass, but she's not the way the fans see Valentina. So ever since you dropped um, up, right, up, drop, that doesn't make sense, moved up to 125 and moved to Las Vegas, new team, it seems like every fight things are getting better and better and you're improving and the weight cut is better and all that. Do you feel like we're continuing with that trend with this? Like, do you feel better in this fight or the preparation for this fight as you did in January for Brooklyn? Uh, like my training camp for this 10 weeks, uh, I'm, so, I'm so proud of myself and I'm so excited with the results that I can see and my body's starting to change to the way it should look and yeah, this, the, the move and fighting it this way is just, it's, it's going to let me be the athlete that I want to be. What are we doing with the hair? Well, What's going on? I was waiting for you to come here yeah. and ask you. So you, is it on me? 
I mean, it, it went well in Brooklyn. Did we shave it? What's happening? No shave? It's it's underneath. It's going to get done today at okay. three o'clock. Who's doing it? You didn't. You, I thought this was like the new thing. I was going to be a part of the routine. There, well, you didn't. No one asked. You didn't hit me up, so. Well. <laughs> I'm going to Floyd's and I'm sending you the bill. Okay. So Floyd's is what a, a barber shop? Yeah. Okay. Who set that up? Just myself. I you did it on your own? Yeah. I was you should have asked me. Oh well, I'm first fight. Okay. I real. I can. I know that I'm not. Uh, important oh, in your no. books oh, now that's you're the first person i came to here <laughs> yeah you said that to him next to me yeah. <laughs> uh fair enough uh so okay so this is huge you're gonna get the haircut we're sticking with the ritual you feel good you win this fight title shot everything's coming together for you it's amazing we're on the cusp of something great and i'll be on your show on monday deal you heard that it's happening <laughs> it's going to be a whole show just devoted to you <laughs> maybe not that much All right. Well, I look forward to it. Good luck to you. Can't wait for the fight. Thanks, as always, for the time. Thank you so much.